Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our first Victory Bible Baptist Youth Weekly Devotion Series we're going to start. Uh, we plan just a little information on this. We plan to post this we, each week on Thursday. Uh, I've got written down by 6, 6 p.m. on the YouTube channel, which is the Victory Bible Baptist Youth Channel, under the Think About It podcast. And that's what we're going to kind of call this devotional series is Think About It. Um, they could be posted earlier today on Thursday, just depending on what my work schedule is and what's going on there. But uh, we will have them posted by 6 p.m. each Thursday. So our goal in these weekly devotion series will be to give you some things that will help you in your personal Bible time. Uh, maybe some different ways to study God's Word. And, and we'll have some input from others that will... Uh, uh, maybe our preacher will put in some input and just different ways we can help you study your Bible or help help me too because a lot of this is going to help me also. Um, so we'll be uh, getting into God's Word each week, devotional time. We, we plan to get this in 15 to 30 minute time frame. We're not going to take up a huge amount of time on this. Uh, there may be we may have additional material to download to uh, help you study this a little deeper. Um, I've got some other ideas as far as um, uh, questionnaires that uh, could be downloaded and uh, and and uh, just to help you along along the way. Uh, we're also looking at input on different ways to make this better. Uh, one thing we which I offer to the youth and the uh, Sunday school teachers at the church was you know any one of any one of them can submit a devotional each week that would um, that uh, then I could post onto the uh, podcast series and uh, those devotionals would also be um, uh, reviewed by either me or the preacher John before they get submitted but uh, that's just uh, something we've also uh, put out there and and we hope that the youth will uh, get involved with that because I think if the youth in our church would uh, do vo devotionals that would be posted, it would be more likely for the other youth in the church to want to listen to those devotions that uh, uh, from, from everybody. Um, lastly, uh, the, the original post we will put on the YouTube podcast channel. Uh, we will then share it to Facebook, and we're also working on a youth web page where we could also post these on also, but that's still in the works, and Hopefully, we'll uh, get that done in a few weeks. Uh, we also plan, we're going to send the links to the podcast through email or text or both or whichever one works the best. So that kind of being said, let's kind of get started. Uh, and I'm going to try to do this is each week. So I'm going to, uh, first, we're going to start off with a song. And uh, this song is uh, The Goodness of God. Our, our uh, preacher and his family sung this uh, last night at a Wednesday night service. So... Let's get started.
wonderful. So um, let's get started in our devotion. This week's a pretty simple one. I just wanted to uh, kind of cover how to get the most out of your daily devotions. And, uh, and I just wrote down a few things and a few verses to go along with that. And that's kind of how we're going to get started today. So the first thing we need to do is we need to pray before starting. That is the most important thing. So Philippians 4, 6, it says, Being careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplications with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So um, let's go ahead and start off with prayer. Lord God in heaven, Lord, we thank you once again for the beautiful, wonderful day you have given us today, Lord. We thank you for your word, Lord, that we have your word, Lord, that, that we have Bibles we can read, and we can read uh, anytime we want to, Lord, and, and, and we have that ability, Lord, and you give us that ability to have knowledge in the Bible, Lord. We pray that you would you would touch it as we get into your word, Lord. We pray that you would uh, uh, guide us, Lord, teach us, Lord, show us, Lord, help us understand, Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. So in Philippians Four or six there, it says, Be careful for nothing but in prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. You know, we, we need to pray and, and ask for God's guidance when we're doing, when we're reading our Bible. Just if we're just plain out reading our Bible, we need to ask for God to bring out his words and, and to help us that, there, Lord. And uh, so the second thing I wrote here was read the entire scripture, scripture passage. Sometimes devotions, we may only, you know, key on one verse, or if we're doing Bible studies, we may only key on one verse. But it is important to read what's going on beforehand, <clears throat> and it's also important to read what's going on after to get a better understanding of what's going on in that verse. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.15 says, Study to show thyself approved unto God for a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we do study the Bible. We need to understand what God's word is, and, and and we don't need to be ashamed of it. We need, you know, I've challenged our youth to carry your Bibles to school, to uh, to not be ashamed of that. To uh, you know, I, I I've told them, you know, I carry my Bible with me when I go to work and when I travel, when I'm doing uh, training classes through my job. You know, my Bible's usually near, and uh, <clears throat> so the third thing I wrote here is if possible and, and and read the devotional with others because um, uh, matthew 28 19 says go go ye therefore and teach all nations baptize them in the name of the father the son and the holy ghost but it says go ye therefore that ye means me so and he says teach all nations we should we should share god's word and when we're doing devotions sometimes those devotions will be personal and and for us but we also need to share that. Sometimes, you know, if God shows us something in his word, we need to share out of his word what God showed us to others. And, and even if it's family members, mom and dad or, or, or brothers or, or sometimes even to your preacher, you know, sharing, sharing something God showed you out of his word uh, can, can help your preacher too. It can, it can help all of us. Uh, I love to hear when when the youth uh, shares things they've got out of God's Word on their personal time. That's that's just wonderful to hear them in it. So the uh, and the fourth thing I, I wrote down here: uh, consider practical applications. And um, and I wrote down James uh, chapter one verse twenty two through twenty five. It says, "But be ye doers of the word and not hearers, deceiving your own selves." So be you doers of the word. So when we consider practical applications, and we're and we're 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 looking at this little devotional series, and I'm calling it "Think About It." When it says "Be you doers of the word," it means when we read the word, we think about what it says and how it applies to our life, and and how we can apply it to our life. And uh, it says uh, uh, then over here it says, "But for if you be hearers of the word and not doers, he is like a man beholding his natural face in the glass." For if he beholdeth himself, he goeth away, and straight and straightway forgiveth what manner of man he was. You know, if we read God's word and we don't really think about what, what's being said there, or what God's trying to tell us there, we get done reading, we close our Bibles, and we walk away and we forget everything we just read. We don't even if we don't put some thought into it and, and think about those things, we we will quickly forget what he, what God is trying to show us out of His word. Uh, then it says, But whosoever looketh, looketh unto the perfect law of liberty and continueth therein, be not forget, he being not a forgetful hearer, 
but a doer of the work. And that's what that that's what we was just talking about. If, you know, if you think about how God is is directing you out of His Word in your life. It says uh, uh, we, we're not going to forget, and we're going to um, we're going to put that into application into our own life, in our own life. And then he says, last part there, he said, "Then man shall be blessed in his deeds." So, and that's basically my little four points I done. But the uh, the last the the second question. So the first question I asked was, "How do I get the most out of our daily devotional times?" We need to pray before we start. We need to read the entire scripture. We need, if possible, we need to share this devotional with others because if we've read it close enough to understand it in our heart, we can share it, we can tell somebody what we got out of God's Word. And we need to consider the practical application of that devotional. You know, how does it apply to my life? Um, so that's, that, that was the first question, is how to get the most out of the devotion. second question I asked is how do you do daily devotions successfully? And, uh, and I, I just wrote down, I got eight things here I just wrote down real quick. And the first one was pick a place. Pick a place to do them. You want a quiet place. You want a place where brothers and sisters or somebody ain't running around uh, distracting you. Uh, pick a place. You know, for me, most of the time it can be anywhere because I, I do travel a lot for work. And uh, and like yesterday morning, I um, I was working on my devotional. So I uh, so so I get to my second point. My second point was pick a time. And, and the, the, the youth in our church know, I've said this in the past, that uh, I'm not a morning person. And in, in, in the past, I would always try to do my devotionals and keyword being try late in the afternoon, somewhere between 7 and 9 o'clock. <clears throat> and, and what happens is when we put off things, we put them off to the point we don't do them. And, when, and I found out when I was waiting to 7 or 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock at night, I would keep pushing it. Then it would be 9 o'clock. Then I'd push it. Then it would be 10 o'clock. And then I was tired. And when you're tired, you can't read, study. And, and, and then I just wouldn't do it. And that's what happened with my devotion time is I would put it off, put it off, put it off. And then I said, well, I'll do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow would come around. Then I'd put it off, put it off. And, well, I'll do it tomorrow. So... So uh, and what I say, so so I started here recently now, from seven to seven to uh, eight o'clock. I start work at eight o'clock, but from seven to eight o'clock, I get up in my office. Nobody's up in the house; it's quiet, and uh, that is my devotion time from seven to eight o'clock every morning. And I've been doing that for about a month and a half, two months now, and and that works great because I do it first thing in the morning, and. And, uh, I, you know, I get it done and I don't put it off. It's just the first thing I do before I start work, before I do anything. It's just the first thing I do. And uh, it's just like yesterday, I had to go uh, down to Charlotte and, and uh, for a training class, and I had to be there very early. So I actually planned my driving, so I left at 5 in the morning and uh, got down to Charlotte, kind of got some things set up in our training room, and then I sat down at 7 o'clock and I done my devotional time in the training room um, uh, from seven to eight o'clock, and 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 I still done it on at the correct time, and I I just kind of planned my travel so that I'd be there early enough I could still do my devotion from seven to eight o'clock, and that worked. And then you know still in the afternoons I've been uh, I've been trying to read through the Bible. I started uh, uh, probably about a month and a half ago, and uh, usually in the afternoons I sit down on the couch and and I start just reading through my Bible. I'm not really studying. I'm just trying to read through my Bible. So the, so the first thing was pick a place, pick, and the second thing was pick a time. The third is spend some time in prayer. We need to start with prayer. We need to finish with prayer. Uh, we can't understand the Word of God without God helping us. We need God's help in each and everything we do. So the fourth thing I wrote down here was spend time in worship. Uh, thank Him for what He showed you out of His Word. Thank you for the things He's doing. Thank Him for the things He's doing in your life. Uh, not only you know, not only for the things he's doing or the things he's done. Thank, thank him for the things he's going to do in your life. Thank him for the things he's going to show you out of his word. <clears throat> so the fifth thing I wrote down was write in a journal or notebook. So after you finish your little your your devotion time, it doesn't matter if you use one verse or a chapter. When you get done, write, get get you a notebook, a journal. And write down what you learned or what God showed you out of this, and and just keep that notebook. It's 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 uh it's something you can go back and look at. 
Um, you know, maybe, you know, you do your today's devotional, God showed you something, you've taken right down those notes, wrote right down what he showed you out of his word, what you learned. Tomorrow, you know, glance at those notes and, and, and uh, you know, uh, just remember what he did and that'll, that may, may help motivate you on doing devotionals. So uh, number six is, is what I call make the most important. Make your your daily devotion a priori- priority, priority, and 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 make that just like the number one thing we do. Uh, I think a couple of weeks ago, uh, John was talking about um, how our time, how we spend our time. It might have been on a Sunday night a week or so ago. How we spend our time for God, and and I can't remember the exact number, but uh, you know we're supposed to give our ten percent of our tithes. We're supposed to give a. Uh, 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 those things and but do we give 10 percent of our time to god and and he had said in a day it was like two hours and uh, i can't remember two and a half hours two hours and 45 minutes is 10 percent of our time a day we should be given to god and and most of us will only give you know I, i've been guilty of you know completely skipping days as i said a while ago and 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 i've been guilty of only spending you know five ten minutes in my bible but but um Make sure you set that a priority. Uh, the seventh thing I wrote down, and this goes back to what I was talking about a while ago, me putting off my devotional time. Seventh thing I wrote down was don't allow yourself to be flexible. And, and that's the key thing with, with devotion times. Don't allow yourself to be flexible. Because if you get up in the morning, you plan to do your devotions, you know, before school or before work. And then you say, well, I'm tired. I'll just do it at lunchtime. Well, lunchtime's going to come around, and you're going to you're going to find another excuse, or you know we're going to do it you know after work or after school. Well, after school, you know there, you know somebody's going to want to go play ball, or or uh, something's going to come up, and you're going to put it off until the point you're going to go to bed, and you're not going to you're not going to uh, get it done. You're going to skip it that day, and once we start skipping it, it it's just going to happen. It's it, we're going to start skipping it today. We're going to start skipping it tomorrow, and and so forth. And then lastly, the last thing I wrote down was just a simple phrase of think about it. Think about it. So after we've read God's word, after we've prayed, and after we've done all these things, take some time to think about it. And I challenge you to do this with anything. Sunday morning services, Sunday night service, Wednesday night services, after service, you know, the next day, you know, you try to take some notes during service. Think about what you heard, what you learned, what God showed you. Think on these things and and allow God to work in your heart. So that does it for today. I thank y'all for listening, and uh, y'all have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see y'all again here soon, probably on Sunday.